Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the lookout. It's about 4 p.m. I've got some information to share here that was um, it's heat mapping that was captured today at about 1 p.m. So we're going to go straight into it here. I'm doing something a little different with the imagery today just to kind of give a little bit of idea of the fire spread. So um, as we look around, the yellow line is 1 p.m.'s heat. So yellow is where the fire is now. The orange fill and the yellow fill is mapping from last night at about 9 p.m. And the white line you'll see is from the night before last. So just to give an idea of how the fire is spreading. So we're starting off here um, looking down over South Lake Tahoe towards Myers. We're going to come in here and look at Trimmer Peak where the fire made its big run yesterday. And you can see from the yellow line that the fire hasn't run any farther really to the east. Um, there's been some spread what we call flanking spread, where the fire is spreading you know, downhill and away from the edge. Uh, so a little bit of spread there. Um, so places where you see the yellow line on top of the orange line, that just means that the fire hasn't really spread since last night. So this white line shows where the fire was the night before last, and it made its big run yesterday. Uh, coming down here into the area that we're uh, you know, all most concerned about, um, you can see there, there hasn't been much spread on the east side here. I do want to caution that this mapping may be off in some places, you know, maybe half a block or more. It's, I don't, um, I'm not really involved in the digitizing of this. The plane flies pretty high, the plane's moving. Um, they've got some really good equipment, but you know, um, I can't say that, you know, if it's on one side of the street or the other, or, you know, if there's a house here, you know, I can't really tell you. Um, and this, this isn't intended to be a damage report. This is just showing what the mapping is showing. So I don't want anyone to be too alarmed if, if you see, you know, like see, you can see the fire jogged here. The fire definitely isn't square, right? So people who are doing this work are doing a lot of work in a hurry. So um, please don't be, um, don't take this as authoritative information um, one way or another. This is the best information I've got to show with you. Um, looking at the other side here, really no spread in the neighborhood. There's a little spread down here um, showing on this imagery. And like I said before, um, I really can't vouch for the accuracy of this. So, you know, I don't have solid information that this neighborhood is or is not inside of the fire. I have not heard anything about the fire moving in neighborhoods. So I'd advise if you are in that area, um, don't take this as a sign that your house is gone. Uh, just take it as a sign that um, there may be mapping inaccuracy here. Um, as we talked about the other day, there's still this kind of island here inside the fire. Um, up around Echo Summit. I don't really know this neighborhood, but um, it appears to still be unburned. Atwood Road, Echo Circle. Uh, coming up around Echo Lake, uh, the yellow line shows the fire spread. So we've had just a little bit of fire spread. Um, this spot fire that was mapped here last night has worked its way down towards Upper Echo Lake. Uh, as we were mentioning yesterday, um, you know, we are concerned about fire spotting out through the sparse fuels in here. Uh, no significant new spots seen in this area on this imagery. Coming around here towards Cody Lake, um, you know, we were talking about the spread of the fire uphill, uh, likely to continue up towards Kirkwood. The white line shows where the fire was the night before last. Uh, the orange line shows where the fire was last night, and the yellow line shows where it is now. So um, not a lot of spread there. Uh, I don't know what's being done for suppression there or not, if they're doing bucket drops or um, or what's going on, but uh, no spread overnight shown in that area. This area has been cold for several days. Uh, relatively, you know, it hasn't spread. Coming over here to Kirkwood, um, also not showing a lot of spread today uh, by the time of mapping. As I said before, the orange was last night, yellow is where it is now. Uh, there are some spots out here where it's, you know, making its way through the granite. So we're looking here right at Kirkwood, looking west. Not a lot of spread here since last night. And as I said, with the accuracy of the mapping, you see some places where, you know, it's showing the fire is actually inside of what was mapped last night. Uh, one way or another, um, this stuff needs to be taken with a grain of salt. And on the fire, you know, they're working with field observers and other sources of on-the-ground intel, walking the fire line with GPS, etc., to get kind of an authoritative perimeter 
So a lot of this information is just intended to be, you know, it's kind of down and dirty working version of, um, of what we get on fires. Fire still hasn't reached down to Silver Lake. Um, yesterday we were looking at this area and it was showing spot fires outside of the control line. Um, I don't see any of that going on here. Uh, once again, that could have been an inaccuracy in yesterday's data. And it looks like my Google Earth is locking up. So um, we'll take a little pause here and come back. Okay, picking back up. This yellow line is um, showing the cutoff on where they acquired the imagery. So um, just like yesterday, I can't really brief on anything west of Silver Lake, but we're gonna cut over here um, from Silver Lake near Kirkwood. Um, here's the gap that we talked about with the Capels, uh, Capels prescribed burn. Uh, the fire's moved into that burn area a little bit um, in an area that looks like it's fairly brushy. But we talked about the other day how this area was prescribed burned uh, two years ago, and that prescribed burn has kept the fire from advancing. Okay, coming back over here to Kybers. Um, Kybers itself is outside of our updated mapping. Here's where it was last night, and you can see from the white line here at Kybers um, from two nights ago that the fire has finished backing down to the river here. Uh, I've been getting some correspondence from um, someone who has a cabin down at the bottom here and said that the fire backed down kind of beautifully. He's a former smoke jumper and knows a lot about how this stuff works. Said the fire burned down really nicely, cleaned up the understory, left all the big trees, and that that um, in letting the fire back down there, that they achieved a, a really nice level of fuel reduction that will last for many years and make Kybers safer. So that's one of those stories of um, some beneficial fire behavior that we like to hear. And um, I'm going to be talking with him some more and hopefully get some um, hopefully get some photos from him. Dog barking. I'm sorry about that. Okay. A um, little bit of action here on the north flank when we come east from Kybers um, that we've been worried about. Uh, people in Wright's Lake have been asking about. Um, you can see from the white line two nights ago and the orange line from last night that the fire has spread. And today, um, since last night, it's made a fairly significant run up here. Um, Wright's Lake is up above here. It hasn't reached there yet. Uh, and that's kind of the biggest run that we see anywhere on the fire right now. Um, you can see there's a little bit of movement down here. Um, as we move up towards Strawberry, the fire is kind of moving up towards the granite. And so it's moved, you know, a couple hundred yards in the past day and a half. Um, coming back around here above Twin Bridges, um, like we talked about, not a lot of spotting up into the granite. Uh, fires kind of spreading in really small fingers, not a lot going on. Um, back at Echo Lake, Echo Summit. That concludes our tour of the fire. Um, thanks for being patient with the imagery rolling in here. You know, we're, we're, we're just using publicly available information, and so we're kind of at the mercy. Uh, it's not like we can go, you know, fly our jet and grab fresh intel. We're, uh, we're just showing what's out there as it comes in. Um, I expect we'll get another flight sometime today and we'll, um, we'll either post on Twitter at wildland underscore Zico, or, um, I'll throw up a quick video. Anyway, if you're evacuated, hang in there. We all love you. And, um, thank you for supporting the lookout.